will not be appearing live on the show, but we shall be seeing them later. Will we not, have lads? Yes. Yes, yes. Very, very good. I should say that uh, I once did a live chat show for the BBC, half an hour live chat show, which was voted by some readers as the worst programme of the year, if not ever. Which is uh, quite a compliment to me as an Which interviewer. Which one was that? Wasn't it on? It was, it was a was very, very Google? bad live chat show. Oh, that one. Right, no, no questions were asked whatsoever. Mm. Oh, it was oh, a pop the... good, aren't they? Similar similar chat show. What? Similar to this. Similar, si no similar to this, yeah. Yes, I was going to ask, who, who writes the lyrics? Me. You write the lyrics? <coughs> So, and I saw, I saw, I thought it was very camp thing on the dancing horses, which I saw you do on camp. on Wogan. Yeah, I do feel a bit weird singing that. But when I, we do it live, it's a bit like. A bit I like, camp. I like it very much indeed. You see, <laughs> very much indeed. Do you do, have you ever done a telephone song? No, no. No telephone song. We're thinking of doing one now. Like something. Hello, this is Jamie. Maybe we could or, collaborate. Sylvia's mother. Yeah. Mm. Can you do Sylvia's Something mother? Something like uh, the horn. Yeah, we did write one. We said, uh, "Hello, I've got the horn. How about the coming round?" That's not a telephone number, really. So <laughs> much as a horn number, isn't it? Well, the horn, telephone. Is, is anybody? Yeah, blower. I suppose the blower. Yeah. Anybody you like at all? You're singing at the moment. Uh. No, yeah, you don't, don't like anybody. Yeah. Don't like no, anybody at all. Disappear for a year, come back and say you don't like anybody. No, there is someone. Do Elvis underwater. Well, this the cure. What's wrong with me? Oh, I'm about to do something very interesting now. I'm about to bring on a surprise guest. All I have to do is press this bit of machinery and look what comes on. And I press this. It's Christmas. Hello, my party. So many famous people, I can't move. Isn't this wonderful? Hi, That's a flat, that's why I can't move. This machine is meant to be introducing something. And <laughs> far from introducing off. anything, it is doing absolutely nothing. Mind you, no home should be without one. Because, no, don't press that, you idiot. <laughs> For people who don't remember that particular mm. show, what was it like? Well, it's a music show. I'm, not, like putting, I'm not putting it in my you mouth now. You've sucked on it. No, us. no, you've spat on it. Yeah, you, you got so aloof, haven't you? You're so grand, you think you can get jerked. Well, we're on now. Bothered. I know we're on, but this is perfectly interesting. <laughs> Sucking this, isn't it? What was good about it was it, the sound was good and the bands were good. Mickey Mouse did a lot of work getting it right. That's what it was, and um, I hosted it. And it was set in a sort of groovy but, beat club, wasn't it? And then everyone was yeah, live. I, I, I disliked all the acts in my character because it, ha it used to be a nice little dance hall that I ran, and I'd have all these groups that I don't know, didn't understand. And what? Who did you have on? You had the Sex Pistols on. We had the Pistols on. I think they're on. We had Sid Vicious on his debut with My Way, the best version ever made. A wonderful group called Suicide, who <laughs> were so awful. Uh, I think it's suicide, so it might not be. The crowd booed them and one of the guys went up on the roof and threatened to throw himself off and there's a moral dilemma about whether to save him or actually sort of take keep the, the footage for keep, later. Keep the footage for later. This is a ruthless business. On that forever. high note, we're going to see a clip from Revolver. Why not? Yeah, it might be you. This is very good. Looking fatter. Here uh -huh. he is. Okay. They told me uh, not to smoke on ITV, but I'll say, you know, one man's <coughs> Pleasure is another man's poison. Now, once in a while, uh, a new talent arrives, such as Eva Perron in, in the old days. And Eva had some uh, big hits, remember? Eva, Eva, uh, by the Everly Brothers. And now we have, uh, now we have uh, a young person, uh, Basil Bush's uh, sister, who, as you know, was uh, responsible for that uh, great hit, uh, Withering Tights. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a lady who's going to be absolutely enormous and look quite big now, Kate Bush and the Bushwhackers. The microphone, allowed, you look at them. I know you're not allowed to call women dear these days, but there's... Because Arvid it's the Stardust first step to harassment. Hanging over there, he's very good. I like very him. Very good. Roy Wood, one over there. Uh, Green Hill Singers. Oh, you know, no, here, yeah, take it. I'll take the mic. You go through it that lot. It drives me... A robot has arrived, ladies and gentlemen, the upon the set. Only £200. And you Aren't you doing funny business with it, Laura? No, I'm not. I'm sending it away. You Quick. should be. It keeps coming back.
back. It's just like that film. I'd like to hear Emlyn Hughes. <laughs> this robot version. comes back and back, and you Eminem never get Hughes. mercy. Emlyn Hughes. Emlyn Hughes singing "I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas." I'm merely going to press this button, and Emlyn Hughes will come on. Come on, Emlyn. No. Yeah. Norman Hunter was also on this record, but he sent off before the first chorus. Can we hear Emlyn? No, a lot of banging going no, on. No, I'm being festive. Emlyn's coming. He's not coming at all. Emlyn isn't coming. Come along now, Paula, plug this. I have say. here, Emlyn's obviously, obviously struck silent for a reason, and that is the Tube album, something that everyone wants to have this Christmas. So, mothers and fathers, are you stuck for a gift for that very special stocking? This is the present that you should be buying. Or why not get Derek and I get the horn on video now.